Welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a collective reading. Okay. So, I wanted, um, I kind of felt compelled that Spirit was directing me to do a reading for the collective regarding um, what we need to know, what we need to do about the earth, or just in, really anything. It's, it may not be directed towards love specifically. Um, love may come through, but I feel like it's more just for how we're doing as a collective that Spirit wants to talk about. And I felt kind of um, pulled towards these little dream cards, um, which are very, very simple. They're more intuitive than anything. And then I'm also, Spirit was wanting me to use these, um, what are these? These are the Osho, I think that's what they're called, cards. Um, really kind of intense cards. So let's see. <clears throat> Please take what resonates, leave the rest. Um, these are just messages that Spirit wants the collective to know. Let me see if she can hear me good. Okay. okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Mistransportation, wedding in reverse, earthquake, teeth, house in reverse. You can see that. Fire. We'll do it like this. Okay. Anything else, Spirit? Blood. Fruit. Anything else, Spirit? Sun in reverse. Okay. Anything else? You may not be able to see the bottom cards, but I'll show them to you. Wolf in reverse. King and Queen. Anything else for it? Hair. Moon in reverse. The top of the deck. So, right out the gate with mistransportation, wedding, and earthquake, wedding in reverse and the earthquake, there's some type of broken con contract. <clears throat> there's something that's coming due to the sun being fire and sun in reverse then we have earthquake here broken commitment about transportation concerning this regarding the sun and our connection to um, spirit Radiation as well.
House in reverse with broken commitment. Broken contract about protecting the home. Teeth snarling or cutting teeth or losing teeth with blood here. Removing teeth as well with the wolf hair in reverse underneath that. Not acting alone or loss of pack. With wedding in reverse, house in reverse with fruit on top. There's a broken commitment about our home regarding our abundance or regarding our um, earth, our planet, our home. Right, or uh, what is it? Um, up is down, and down is actually up. This is what we the bearing of our fruits. We the what seeds have we planted? There's not been right planting or right seeding, I guess is a better way. Fights over food. due to the sun in reverse and calamity bursts of radiation A broken contract in the house to, to keep what's fruitful or what's abundant to become king and queen. Taking from the house, though. Broken commitment in the house. Could be like house of representatives, possibly. Or something about that. What puts out fire? Water. Well, mostly water, right? Wars over food and water. I'm sorry, guys. I don't think this one's going to be a very cheerf cheerful reading. Something about the moon, too. Transforming. Be mindful of where money goes. Chase the missing money. Chase the missing money. Be transformation or follow the snake to, to find the missing money to retrieve it. Looking back to, in past dealings or money. Okay. Something about the moon too in reverse. Um, wrong tides. Um, tides. Well, tides are turning, but wrong tides. Tides turn or t tides flip or something something like that. Shedding, tides are shedding, follow the missing, chase the missing money. Jewelry, adornment. I heard bad moon rising. I don't know if that, I think that's a song. Bad Moon Rising. Um, this is, okay. I don't think this happens, but I don't know why I'm being told this in my mind's eye by spirit. You know, um, I don't know if this actually happens though, but this is what they're wanting me to say. So the moon going in reverse versus, you know, I guess. Rising in the east, setting in the west, or what have you, but going reverse. 
So think going instead of going clockwise, I guess counter clockwise. Does that make sense? So moon in reverse. So bad moon rising or yeah, bad yeah. And this all okay. This almost looks like an eclipse to me. Something about the eclipse will be transformative. But there's missing money that they're chasing or needing to find a treasure as well. Or are we? Losing money or not seeing what's going on because we're chasing material goods. Okay. Miss transportation. There's something about a broken contract about heading somewhere. A, someone a missed opportunity, a missed train. I missed, um, mm. wrong side of history or something about that. But there's some, there's a broken commitment about transportation concerning this, this quake here or a rumbling, a disturbance, chaotic time, but it's just like a, I'm just disturbance like this, if that makes sense. Also shifting. Or something being blown wide open. Because it was hidden. To avoid fire. Or rebellion even. But something here. We've lost our connection here. But then also to. Loss of hair. Due to something about. Sun. The sun. There was a bad contract in the house. Again, about the fruit here. Because somebody wants to be would-be kings and queens. Wolf wolf in sheep's clothing being exposed. That wanted to be would-be kings. Um, also loss of hair. Um, hiding abundance in food. Not in a likely location though. A different one. <clears throat> I feel static as well. Like I actually feel static on my face. Okay. Alright, let's see. There's something I'm missing. I feel like I'm missing something here. Hidden abundance or hidden monies. Not acting alone though. No lone wolf there. Or the pack separated from the pack. Show me missed transportation, please, spirit. Thank you. The creator. Show me wedding in reverse, please. Why is this here? Wedding in reverse. Okay, I don't need that many less cards, please. Spirit, show me wedding here in reverse. Okay, which one? Okay. Breaking contract, so breakthrough. Okay, or the creator breaks through for integration. You have water and fire. Fire, which is action, the masculine principle. You have water, okay? So the, the yang and then the yin. And you have water here, the feminine um, principle. Um, what is that called? What a snake is eating? It? The world snake? Or where was this? There was a snake here. Yes. Okay, that makes sense now. Okay. So... The feminine principle is upside down right now. The world snake is trying to transform what we consider abundance because that's what we chase. You see, the feminine aspect is looking back, back, looking back versus seeing what's in front. So there's an integration that's underway. Okay. What is this earthquake about? So why is the earthquake here? 
Why is there earthquake here? Yeah. Inner voice, the feminine aspect, the high priestess. It has been in reverse again. In reverse. Okay. I'll put this here. So there is a reckoning coming from the feminine aspect, the great mother or the feminine principle. And I don't mean like just feminist. I mean, because we, you know, we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. However, there is a, 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 a reckoning coming from the great mother, the void, the primordial mother, the, prim the primordial waters. Okay. Show me teeth. Because we haven't listened to our inner voice. We haven't listened to the feminine energy within us all. Our intuition, the moon. See, the moon is also in reverse. There's something about the moon going backwards. Bad moon rising. Keep hearing bad moon rising. Maybe there's something in those lyrics. I'm not sure. Show me teeth. Why is teeth here? Show me teeth. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. You have the dream here in reverse. Changing dream, cutting new teeth to change the dream. Or we're in a dream and we're going to be waking up from it, cutting our teeth, like our, our, our new teeth, our new, um, what's the word? We could also be fearing the end of a dream as well. Waking up from a dream. Show me the house in reverse. Okay. So we have the fool here. You see how the fool isn't watching and they're just falling off. So taking a leap of faith, nevertheless, again, falling off of something. Falling down, falling out, or turning. We aren't seeing something. The adventure here. Okay, this is like a child, right? Child, this is like a toddler. Toddlers cut baby teeth, right? But here in reverse, we are living in, um, we're not looking where we're going. We're not paying attention to that. We need to pay attention to that. It may not be what it's supposed to be or what we're told it is. Okay, why is the sun in reverse? Why is the sun in reverse? What's being hidden? What's, why is the sun principle in reverse? See, the masculine or the masculine and the feminine are both in reverse. Sun is the is the masculine principle. Okay, the moon is the feminine. This is yang. This is yin. So neither one of us, the masculine and feminine within us all, regardless of whatever gen, whatever gender you are or whatever gender you identify as, we're not we're balanced in how unbalanced we are. If that makes sense. Balance and how unbalanced we are. So, I just want to look at this moon real quick. Show me the moon in reverse. Why is this moon here in reverse? Okay, thank you. The source. Again, the mother of creation. So, for me, this is... For me, the feminine, me personally. Now, this is also looks like fire, but I look at this as kind of like feminine. Again, like sun and moon. You know, you see what I'm saying? Like, there's the wounding in the feminine and the, and the, the yin energy of the great void. But then you have the creator here, which is the creator and the source behind it. I feel like this is... What's behind here? If that makes sense? Like Big Bang Creator? Big Bang Creator. Okay, this is going to sound really weird. But oh, just, you know, roll with it, I guess. Take it for what it is. Don't, you don't have to believe nothing I say. <laughs> okay? Okay, creating a big uh, a Big Bang on the moon. I don't know. That's what spirit is saying in my head, but creating a big bang in the moon or, or yeah, cr big bang creator, the moon, but also the sun is also in reverse. So there's something, there's something too that could be affecting the moon cycles that makes it go reverse. If that makes sense. And then the sun with the fire, the sun in reverse and the fire in reverse weakening. 
but also like a burst because you have hair here. But to me, hair can mean several different things. And Spirit is saying it, it's it's not this or that. It's this and that. So it's where both the masculine and feminine energies within us all are in reverse. But on a physical 3D type of, you know, tangible physical aspect, which it's not one or the other. It's both. There's something weakening about the sun that's going to affect the moon's rotation. Or something about that. I'm, again, I, I, I'm, I still heard the Big Bang Creator. Okay, so why is the sun here in reverse, Spirit? One card, please. Why is the sun? Okay. Totality in reverse. We're not bridging the gap. We're not making the connections here. We're not transforming something. Because here, if you look at it in upright... You got one person holding on to the acrobat's legs, right? And then you got the other one reaching to grab, right? It's in reverse, so we're not bridging it. Also, this could be like a, a like a, a heel or like a spike, but then it goes down more like or like waves. Waves. Ooh, okay, less sun beams, less sun waves, or, or uh, gamma rays. There's going to be a spike and then a dip. Okay, show me what, why is totality here in reverse? Or tell me more about the sun in reverse. Tell me more about the sun in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Participation sideways. Okay, so this is what's crossing it. Participation. We have all the elements. We have fire, earth, water, air. Okay, you see how they're putting, I don't know if you can, if you can see it, they look like little hands, right? And they're putting it in this, um, again, it's like primordial, what how you said it, primordial um, uh, soup or, or waters, you know, like, look, there's like stars, right? To me, I think space is like water, okay, it's, or, or very close to it. There's something about this here. All right, this is going to sound super trippy, but I'm going to say it. There was more than one creator. There was a, 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 a pri there was more than one primordial creator, if that makes sense. There is, there is the supreme, okay, the source, the creator, right? But there was more than one. This is fire. There's more than one. This is the mother. So father, mother. Okay. I don't know if that makes sense. It's just, it's real trippy. I'm having a hard time like understanding this. I wish they, okay. Simpler words. Balancing stability around the totality of something. So there's something that hasn't came into total perspective or the totality, or came full circle, but there's going to be like a, sp a spike, okay, and then then down, like a, a, a burst and then down, could be around, then, then a, a sharp dip. Participation, this is orchestrated. Our participation is necessary for something, but also balancing of the elements, but also the if you look more of a spiritual aspect, this is orchestrated by the by the primordial elements or in creators, if that makes sense. Okay, what? A, okay, why is participation crossing this spirit? Why is okay? Thank you. Ordinariness here in reverse. You see how this is more like rainbow. I don't know if you can see that it's kind of like rainbow colors and it's the eight in reverse so infinity in reverse this is what it looks like in the upright see how everything looks lush and green and, and um i know we're in fall right now but it looks well cared for wanting to be more extraordinary but not participating in the caring and bridging the gap between spiritual and physical world but also participation in protecting the earth or you know the the our home the mother one of the great mothers that makes sense 
they want to be very like kind of cryptic right now um so please forgive me about that so we're gonna look at blood now why is blood here please they just said blood bloodshed or blood shedding mm, or something in the blood something in the blood DNA maybe okay let's see show me blood what is that what do you mean by this what do you mean by that statement and what is this here okay okay so we have receptivity but it's crossing this way so it's 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 blocking it it also in reverse so we're not being re our blood is not being receptive to something we're not accepting something also again the feminine if I turn it up this way the the feminine principle see this is water you have fire, water, fire, well, well, moon, but water, fire, water, fire, water. You, you see what I'm saying? So there's something about, and the fire's being put out here, same way as water in a way, or water in a way. We need to like neutralize this. We're both the same. We're, we're balanced in how imbalanced we actually are. But there, again, there's something about something going in reverse, but with it being this way, the blood is not going to receive something. There's something that's bad blood. Bad blood with the feminine principle or with the water. Bad blood. Something about bad blood and water. Mm. There's something about the feminine principle here that women are not going to like very much. That's going to be coming our way. We're not going to receive it very well. Um, also be mindful. Of giving blood right now? I don't know. I don't understand what they're saying. Spirit, tell me more about this. I don't understand what you're saying. It doesn't make sense. It's super cryptic. <sighs> What does this mean? Mm, innocence? We're not receptive. There's no receptivity or being able to accept some, some type of blood donation or giving of blood. Something about the DNA, something about the, there's something in that that's going to affect innocence. I don't know if it's like children or like people who are innocent or like the innocent of the planet because you got the grasshopper here. Um, what do you mean? Why is innocent now showing up? Maybe if later generations getting pregnant, maybe we'll have a shortage of, um, um, what is it, where you can get pregnant? Yeah. Uh, what is it? be infertile women are not be, going to be able to receive because of something about the blood here um to create children or there could be some type of um, accusation of the of a feminine that creates some type of bad bad blood but she's actually innocent why is innocent here spirit why is this innocent here um letting go not letting go of innocence. Somebody's not going to be receptive of letting, not able to let go of someone's innocence. Okay. Again, with the water. There's something about water, too. I'm, I keep picking this up, and I've been picking it up for a while now. There's something about the water. I don't know if there, I'm not saying there's anything in it. I'm just saying I feel like there's going to be a shortage. But I, I don't know for sure. Please, you know, use your own discernment here. I, I, you know, I'm not claiming to know all the answers. I hope I'm wrong. I hope this isn't true. You know, so just putting that out there. There's something about that. Or there might, oh, there might be an over too much of water. Like too much water. Okay, show me fruit. What's this fruit? Guidance in reverse. We're not listening to divine guidance or sacred guidance. 
about our abundance or growing or food. Because this talks about f having enough to eat. This talks about fruit of your labors. Um, yeah, there's something about us not accepting guidance about it. The vine is trying to tell us. Um, okay, they just said it. We reap what we sow. And right now is, is kind of like a time where we're, we're, yeah. Okay. I don't know if I want to say that. <sighs> okay. Why is fire in reverse? Creations being blocked by the divine right now. That could also be about the, about getting pregnant possibly, or, you know, Possibly, I don't know if anybody wants to have kids or whatever. I'm just saying, like, there's, I feel like there's going to be an, 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 uh, being infertile or, or something like that. But I think it's being blocked by the divine because of not being able to create. Because the feminine principle receives and we're not receptive right now or in the future. Because it's going to be the, the cycles, menstrual cycles, possibly, but the moon here reverse as well is not going to keep going. So we're not going to create. We're not going to be able to receive and create with the fire here in reverse. Um, why is fire here in reverse, please? What is this about? Guilty in reverse. Okay. 88. So, I don't know if that means anything to anyone. Um, the f okay, someone's going to claim um, not innocence about a fire. We're just going to some type of fire. But actually they are. Because you have the feminine principle here that's innocent. And not being able to let go of that innocence. But then you have the fire principle here. So you got water and then you have fire again. They're going to claim innocence, but it's there's someone who's guilty about creating a fire of some kind. I don't know if that's a company. I don't know if that's a person. I don't know if that's a, a, some type of, you know, agency. Show me fire reverse. Tell me more about this fire reverse, please, spirit. Beyond illusion. Transformation. So, someone here or us as a collective doesn't want to walk through the fire of purification to look at ourselves, to see what we've done, to accept whatever blame that we're supposed to accept as a collective of humanity about the state of the world. So, taking personal accountability and personal responsibility and coming to some form of a radical acceptance so that we can change so we can create change so we're not we're, we're trying to avoid that but we're not we're being asked to transform and see beyond the illusion of things butterflies go into the cocoon right or not cocoon yeah i guess it's chrysalis right okay and then they spend some time in there and then they emerge to see beyond the illusion so this time right now is that nobody wants to accept the blame for their own personal stuff. And we want, we're constantly trying to pass the buck off to the next guy or the next woman or whatever the case may be. We're not accepting radical responsibility and accountability for ourselves and being sufficient and efficient within ourselves and our communities and each other. We're, reli we're too reliant on something. We're too reliant on others or too reliant on... Spirit, I, these words, I don't know if there's, I don't even know if these are actual words. So, it's really kind of trippy. Um, yeah, it's like, we don't want to hear the guidance about seeing beyond the illusion because we're afraid of seeing what's beyond that. When that is no different than this. Okay, they kind of start trying to break it down for me. There's no, see how these are symmetrical, like, like this, if that makes sense, you know. This almost looks like the feminine, you know, you know, lady parts. 
you know, vagina. And then here, it feels like what's, it's being like, it's the feminine principle of like opening up, but not like in that, like a sexual sense. It's allowing the transformation of the feminine energy or the feminine wounding in us all. Um, male or female, whatever you identify as, no matter your sexual orientation, it's the principle. You, you see what I'm saying? People think that feminine principle is weak. And a lot of feminines, regardless of your gender, feel that feminine principle is weak. When in reality, we create. We don't create alone, but we house. We, we hold it in our womb, whether you have children or not. If you want children, it doesn't matter. We have the capacity right that's not to take away from the masculine principle right it's to collaborate with if that makes sense also they're talking about something they're, they're bringing me to this card here about there was once a um there was once a what is it called a matriarch okay like globally not like one but we were more ruled by the feminine principle than there was the patriarchy. And that's no, that is no judgment towards men here. I'm not men, man bashing. Okay. Cause you guys, you know, we need you guys too. So, right. So there's the balancing of the two, but I feel like it's going to be transforming back to more of a matriarch in a way. But then again, that's not even balanced because remember we're not balanced. Masculine's not balanced. If that makes sense. There's no like, it's not even about rulership. It's collaboration, if that makes sense. But there's just something we're not willing to walk through. Also, the masculine's not willing to walk through. Same as the feminine type of energy. We're not willing to walk through this to unveil it, to come out. Yeah, right now we're kind of, we're still in the chrysalis. We're, we're, we're having a hard time. We're struggling as a collective to walk through, to accept guilt, to accept personal responsibility and blame now if it's not yours to carry okay you don't no one's asking for the one side or the other whatever to carry more than the other right it's about we both have to carry because too much in the masculine it's it overrules feminine too much in the feminine then it tries to overrule masculine there's there needs to come a get uh, something about coming together or accepting our own personal guilt, our own personal responsibility, and instead of just casting blame. Okay, I think I think I I think that's what they wanted to say. Um, they'll tell me otherwise. They want me to read this card, so okay. I guess I missed it. So hold on. All right, they want me, they want me to read it. So one second. Sorry, y'all. I gotta find it. Okay, page 42, right? Okay, all right. All right. <clears throat> Sometimes these words are hard, so please forgive me. All right, here's a little story. Commentary it says, the butterfly, I'll hold it, if you can see it. it. says, the butterfly in this card represents the outer, that which is constantly moving and that which is not real but an illusion. Behind the butterfly is the face of consciousness, Looking inward to that which is eternal, the space between the two eyes has opened, revealing the lotus of spiritual unfoldment and the rising sun of awareness. Oh, see the sun or fire? Yeah, fire and sun in reverse. Okay, that makes sense. Um, through the rising of the inner sun, meditation is born. The card reminds us not to look outside for what is real, but to look within. When we focus on externals, we too often get caught up in judgment. This is good. This is bad. I want this. I don't want that. These judgments keeps a, keep us trapped in our illusions, our sleepiness, our old habits and patterns. Drop your opinionated mind and move inside. There you can relax into your own deepest truth where the difference between dreams and reality is already known. And then it says, beyond illusion, this is the only distinction between the dream and the real. Reality allows you to doubt, and the dream does not allow you to doubt. To me, the capacity to doubt 
is one of the greatest blessings to humanity. The religions have been enemies because they have been cutting the very roots of doubt. And there is a reason why they have been doing that. Because they want people to believe in certain illu illusions that they have been preaching. Why have the people like, uh, I'm not going to be able to say that, Gautam Buddha, been so insistent that the whole existence, except your witnessing self, except your awareness, is just, um, I'm not going to be I can't say that, ephemeral, uh, made of the same stuff as dreams are made of. I posted something on my Facebook wall that was, I saw it today, and it was very, um, I've had this thought before, it's like, what if when we die, we wake up and realize that this was actually always the dream, and when we wake, when we die, we actually wake up to reality, if that makes sense, um, not to be morbid there, um, they are not saying that these trees are not there, they are not saying that these pillars are not there. Don't misunderstand because of the word illusion. It has been translated as illusion, but illusion is not the right word. Illusion does not exist. Re reality exists. Maya is just in between. It almost exists. So it's like the unmovable mover or the form and the formless, the in between those, the bridging between the two. Um, there was also a post, I think I posted it last night, was talking about... Um, a tree can only, or a tree can't reach to heaven unless its roots have reached to hell. But if we're talking, talking more of like, we can, we can only meet ourselves, or we can only meet another as deep as we've actually met ourselves. If that makes sense. So this, okay, it almost exists. As far as day-to-day -day activities are concerned, it can be taken as reality only in the ultimate sense from the peak of your illumination. It becomes unreal, illusionary. Yeah. So, that makes sense. Okay. Let's see. Let's look at wolf. I'll move this up here a little bit so y'all can see. Why is the wolf here in reverse? Why is the wolf here in reverse? Please, Spirit, tell me why. Show me the wolf reverse. Show me the wolf reverse. Past lives reverse. Experiencing. Okay, this sounds odd, but here we go. Two things Spirit is saying. Our lives will, one day, we will experience our lives going in reverse. Okay, so almost like like uh, it kind of looks like a an hourglass, right? We will start to experience past lives blending with present and future and things going in reverse. Okay? There's something about this wolf here or we're no longer the lone wolf. Remembering that we we were never alone so experiencing what it's like, or, or even the, the wolf itself is being experienced. They just said there's only one life, but not like there's only one lifetime, meaning you live only one life, meaning like you live every life there ever was, if that makes sense. They're saying all is self. There was no lone wolf. Or if there is a lone wolf, the lone wolf is you, and, and everybody else is also you. That's really kind of trippy. They're showing it to me, but I, I'm, I'm having a hard time kind of wrapping my brain around it a little bit. Because um, they're being exceptionally cryptic about this. Because look, if you turn this card up, you see all the people, right? You see the animals, the fish, you see all these different, like... Just people. All of these lives, they're saying, all of these lives are your lives. But we're not acknowledging them. 
fully, we need to experience them, but also things going in reverse that realizing that it's all self, okay, that the lone wolf is, we are the lone wolf because there's only we, there is no me. There's only we, like one, the one life. I don't know if that, if that makes any sense. Like there's, I don't know why they're being, this is going to make sense to somebody out there. Whenever I post this to YouTube or whatever, this is going to make sense to, I feel like there's someone or maybe a few people who are going to understand this because they're being, I feel like they're being very cryptic on purpose. Which kind of trips me out a little bit because I understand some of it, obviously, but then there's some of it I'm like, what? And they're telling me, I'm, I'm not, there's certain things I'm not meant to understand just yet. And there's certain things that I am. And, okay. Not cool. All right. Anything else about this wolf in reverse? Yeah. Thunderbolt. Falling away. Under, we're going to be experiencing a falling away. A, 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 a sudden, like, bolt of realization. A falling away, we must, again, where was that? Purification by fire. Okay, sudden realization. Revelations here, like understandings, experiencing that. Past lives going backwards or like merging together. Future, past, present, merging. Or like... Go, time, I don't know. They're saying time back, time going backwards. We're repeating a cycle again. All right, king and queen. Okay, transformation is blocking us, and that flew out. So I'm gonna show you the card up. You see how you have fire, and then the lotus opening. Right, so water, fire, the uh, phoenix to me. This is like phoenix, the balancing between the two. Um, tr the snake, again, transformation. I'm not sure what that is. But um, the sword as well, so sword of truth. Transformation. Purple flames as well, but psychic awareness or coming to the understanding. You see, we're not trans... Our, our, we're... We're needing to transformation is blocking us. We're blocking our own progression here. We're not transforming. We're not transforming right now. And we're not being we're not gonna be able to rise. Like this could even look like the Phoenix to me. You see? You see, look, the person, almost like an angel, but also like a phoenix, okay? But we're not transforming right now. Not balancing out the two. Alright, why is hair here? Show me hair. Yeah, slowing down in reverse. We're not slowing down. You see the sea turtle? I'll show you up right. See the sea turtle? It's got like, you know, some grass and it's going towards the water, right? We're not slowing down here. So something something's going to happen to the water regarding water, fire, and the sun and the moon. I feel like there I feel like tides might may go backwards or something like about that. There's something that's going to affect our water. Because we're not slowing down and we're it's going to cause like a hair thing. We might actually lose our hair. Anything else about hair, please? Also the hair for me is also your connection to the divine. Um, it's like a, an extension of your, almost like your nervous system in a way. We've forgotten our connection to that. Show me hair. Why is hair here? Yeah. Healing. The, healing that connection. When you see he out, there's no hair. There's like a blossoming. This is also air too. I think, I think this is air principle. Communication with the divine. We're not slowing down to allow that in, but also see how the hair, they're kind of blue looking, this person. Blue looking, but see this is like water, but also like air. We're not listening to our, um, our gut instincts and unfolding of our heart. There's something around losing our hair. 
coming we're trying to be protected or held by the divine or created by the divine uh, recreated or something but we're not slowing down enough there's something that we need we need to slow down let me find out what that is Spirit, why is slowing down here in verse or this is going to be an accelerated process our transformation into the next phase of existence or the next next evolutionary phase is not is going to be it's being accelerated for a reason we might end up hairless. So, okay, show me slowing down reverse. Okay, yeah, there's, okay. Then, okay. So, it's being accelerated because we're not getting the point. We're not transforming fast enough. We're, we're too tribal. We're not balancing the two aspects. We're too tribal. So, it's going to be accelerated again. It's going to be jumpstart and accelerated even further. It's going to happen like fast and we're going to be experiencing multiple multiple realizations quicker quicker and quicker and more closer together okay show me slowing abundance in reverse so we need to speed up our process of understanding see the ma the feminine the masculine right we have um like air as well earth okay abundance okay We need to hurry up because there's something we're supposed to be doing. There's something we're supposed to be doing as a collective. Helping with something abundant. We're going to be taking a quantum leap in some regard again. You know, like um, how we became upright walking, right? Um, from Back in millions of years ago or whatever, right? We're going to be taking another quantum leap in evolution, but we need to do it quick because there's something we're supposed to protect. I feel like it's the earth, but it's, there's also something else we're supposed to protect. We're, we're supposed to be protecting something. And so this has to be sped up. Um, anything else about slowing down in reverse? Because right now it's not protected. Okay, slowing, slowing down in reverse, please. Sure, anything else about slowing down in reverse? About this, okay. Fighting in reverse. Yeah, we need to stop fighting. Look. Okay, you see how there's the clouds here, like spirit, people standing and watching. There's people going after someone's throat. I don't know if you can see that. And then you have the night here. Again, very, very tribal. But so then here you have the king and queens and then the knights, right? Or like the pawns. So, we're going to be sped up in our evolution so we can stop fighting because there's something we have to protect. I feel like it's the earth. But it could be a, a whole other bunch of different stuff. Um, because this, to me, is like we're going to be taking a major step in evolution very soon. Or we are being primed and ready for that acceleration to that quantum leap, that jumps, that uh, quickening of that re-jump. I don't know. If that Almost like propelling, like push forward, like real, real hard push. And this could be what this is about. There's going to be a... It's going to be a real hard push, either adapt, okay, evolve, or fall, the reckoning, if that makes sense. Okay. Anything else here that you want to share? Is there anything else that you want to share? Was there anything else you want to share? Conditioning. You see how the lion is wearing the sheep's clothing? We've been conditioned to fight for everything and anything. Lion again. There's something around the lion. Show me the lion. Spirit, show me the lion. Why is this lion here? What's this about? What is this from the lion? Traveling. Back towards the sun. This lion's going to be moving about. Also like a roar of a lion creating shaking. You see, there's a little traveler going up this mountain to the sun. Roaring, something about a roar, conditioning, 
conditioned traveling creating during an earthquake a, a pretty big one too there's going to be some type of uh, reckoning because we're conditioned around travel we can't travel obviously but there's going to be something that's going to erupt here so be mindful of that around a lion okay you didn't ask the question but here we go yeah compromise and reverse aloneness and then awareness reverse okay so we are conditioned to not travel in our heart, to not travel in our mind, to not reach out, to not look towards the light. We're being conditioned by a lion in sheep's clothing here. Okay, the roaring of a lion that's going to create some type of quake or, or light. There's going to be some type of roar of the earth, like a breathing. Okay, there's going to be travelers about this. Under certain conditions, there's going to be travelers, though. Um, people are not willing to compromise. They're very different. You got bamboo and then, I, I don't know, a different type of tree. There's no transformation around this comprom compromising. And then there's aloneness. Okay, this is the traveler. This is like the, the person who's going on that spiritual quest inward, okay, into the dark night or into the, the pilgrimage, I guess. And this is the same person on here. So we, we um, what's the song going up to the mountain? I don't know if that's maybe a gospel song. I don't know. I'm not trying to make this biblical, but this is what they're telling me. The song is like up on the mountain, or up to the mountain. I think I think that's what it is. Um, okay, because we we're not compromising. We feel like we're too different when really we're we're still part of the same organism. The planet itself is an evolved being that was once at a long time ago, possibly in past lives. They're telling me was also some one point human i know that sounds crazy but this is what they're saying it's a soul that evolved if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense i'm not sure if i understand it either then you have awareness in reverse so then alternative right so you can see it. you see it's like the feminine principle or the blue flames you see it people are like coming out you see there's like all this cloudy confusion right and then as it's opening the veil pulling back you see the sky but you see the blue flame or something about a blue flame awareness but we're not getting that because we need to take this time to learn to compromise within ourselves to reconcile the differences and transform within ourselves on a spiritual pilgrimage there's going to be something that's coming though that's going to shake i mean shake big time to allow this transformation of the world okay the world snake it's going to create a quake here. Like the snake. I don't know what it's called. The snake eat, that eats his tail is like the circle. So he's starting to come full circle. It's going to cause this quake. If you're looking more for a, 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 like a spiritual aspect here. Bottom of the deck, we got friendliness. Okay, you have the red and the yellow and then blue, right? So needing to come together. Autumn time as well. Friendliness. The, the coming together of two aspects. Or the... the, the, the Bridging the gap between two, bridging the gap between really everything, to be honest. The miser, the money, the, okay. Also, bridging the gap between the people who are, the, like, the poor, right? Okay, and then the, the money misers, the rich, okay? The, the greediness, if that makes sense. Coming into maturity here of abundance and see the balancing of the elements, Okay, this is someone here is holding on, okay, this could be Capricorn season, we're going to see there's going to be someone holding on to wealth in such a way, but claiming there's no money, right, claiming there's no money, but really there is because they're holding on to it for some reason, follow the money, follow the money, okay, they're holding on, to, they're holding it for a reason, okay, There needs to be some type of maturity or transformation. Yeah, maturity. Okay. Maturity of existence. Again, there's no hair. There's going to be a, a strong jump after this shaking. There's going to be a huge and possible traveling. There's going to be a huge quantum leap. Okay. Of evolution here. It's to go from this. 
to maturity of existence. She's in like a lily pad or like a lotus pad. There's a, also, again, this comment. There's a comment or there's like an asteroid. There's there's a heralding or a heralding of a message that uh, uh, of something coming. A quake. Okay, there's something coming about that. Pay attention to that. This is happening to bring us into the age of maturity as a collective. But there's something heralding a message about this. And I keep getting this. Um, yeah. To release the burden. Again, the industrial world is exhausting our planet and ourselves. We're, we're living in machines. I don't know where that's... We're living in a machine. We need to drop the burden. So, look. The money miser, okay, is where we're at. Becoming into the maturity. Even lost our hair. Balancing with the elements, with nature, okay, with the elemental beings or spirits of existence. Maturity of existence. Be mindful of a comment and some type of great shaking as well but also shaking around the sun being in reverse and the moon in reverse so we can release the burden because look this is we're carrying we're we're carrying them on our back you see what i'm saying and they're going to be released because we're living in a machine and we're exhausted also exhaustion like from a car it's creating us um a machine world but also we're living in a machine or like a machine we need to compromise. Okay. Balance. Then we have courage. Have courage. Something always grows. That's so weird that I got this because I have a bush at, out in my yard. It has no blooms on it. There was a bud there. And it's getting colder here, right? And it's the it, it just bloomed anyways. You see what I'm saying? Life finds a way to exist. Have the courage to continue. Release laziness. It's time to get to work. Let's see. It's time to get to work. In whichever way that you can. Okay. Sharing in reverse. We need to learn how to share with one another. Share in the abundance with one another. Stop accepting the money misers. Even within ourselves. Okay, this is a money miser, a wealth miser, or just holding everything close to our chest, not sharing anything. Okay, not sharing. We need to turn this upside down. Okay, but then here we go. Politics in reverse. They're not followed the money. They're holding on to it for a reason. They're holding on to it for a reason. Okay. While we're looking back, there's something going on with that, with the, with the money. Okay. Politics in reverse here with a snake. If you look at it like this. It's really like a snake here. Holding a mask. Politics in reverse. They're not sharing. They're not sharing. Because they're being money misers. There's something they're holding on to. For some reason. And then we have. Um, completion in reverse. Last, There's a puzzle piece that is not. They're holding on to it, one of the pieces of the puzzle. Or multiples. Okay, so things can't come to completion, so things can't come full circle. The world snake, things can't come to full circle here, into balance. The mind is also here in reverse, so getting, okay, it looks like machine being wrapped up, okay. All these towers, or smoke coming out. Um, we need to come out of our mind. Okay, this sounds weird. We need to be out of our mind to be in our mind. I don't know what that means. For celebration. Water principle again. To feel it. Success in reverse here though. There's something they're trying to keep. There's something that's trying to be kept from us. Oh yeah, projections too. 
projecting onto one another. I just picked this up, so you need to balance things out instead of projecting onto the other, even in our own lives. Let me get some oracle cards about this because there's something I feel like I'm trying to still understand. This might make sense to some of y'all out there. Um, I, I, I kind of get it, but I, I, I'm not 100%. So let's see. So what are the messages do you have, please? That you want the collector to know. Anything else for the spirit? Okay, we have Weaver of Worlds in reverse. Unraveling. There's going to be an unraveling. Anything else? In the shore of trials, it'll be it'll be difficult. When this unraveling happens, it will be difficult. Again, more water. There's something about water here. A lot of it too. Anything else? There's going to be a lot of water here. Okay. Then we have the... I can't see. What does it say? Yeah, the gatekeeper in reverse. So gates will be open. This could also be something symbolizing as opening. Okay. And then we have the, the conflict in reverse. Once the gates are open or this opening happens, conflicts will start to end. Again, we have what looks like water... Okay, dark water, and then you have fire. Again, f water and fire. Anything else about this? Anything else about this? So, leaning, trying to open the gates to re to reduce conflicts or even rebellion. Yeah, we have the dream weaver, or excuse me, the dream catcher in reverse. Waking up to a new reality. Road to nowhere in reverse. We're, we are going, again, more of the water. We are, things are going to be revealed or unclouded. Something, again, about water. Rushing water. Anything else? Okay. And then forest. Labyrinth in reverse. So things will be more clear. We won't feel like we're trapped in a maze anymore. Coming out of, like, there's going to be, like, some type of rushing water and, and trees or a forest that's going to clear it so there, it can be seen. Anything else? Mastery. Understanding. There's something about a ma mastery of self as well. Mastering of your craft. Mastering of understanding. Mastery of self. Ascended masters. The Baroness. Light, mastering over our shadows, or integration of the two. Okay. Lady Autumn is crossing this. Be mindful of birds. Watch the birds. How they how they move. Watch the birds, how they move. This, this fall. This is like Persephone. When she went down to Hades, he, she gave him like the... She, uh, he gave her the pomegranate seeds. She ate it and she got stuck there. And then her mother got really mad and was killing everything, right? So she goes up for six months. She goes down. Uh, Persephone goes down for six months, okay? So it creates the seasons. Eventually, she ended up loved being there. So the Lady of Autumn is crossing the Baroness. So this could be, I guess, in a way of like total destruction. or so, There's something that's going to be blocking. But pay attention to the birds. Uh, this just came out as well. The heroine here in reverse. But I'm going to read it both ways, but it is crossing energy. We're not picking up the sword and, and taking um, accountability within our own life and giving clarity. Okay? We have to be our own hero or, or heroine in our own life. Our own, our own protectors here. There's going to be some type of communication during autumn about these birds or something about um, mastery. There's going to be some type of communication about this. Communication is going to be coming in. This is also taking up and being um, coming out of darkness into the light. So things can be, the clarity and truth can be given or shown. Okay. 
Pay attention to birds. Anything else? There, something about the birds are going to tell you something. Some of you. Maybe not all of you, but just collectively. Yeah. The light bearer. Again, this is like almost like it's kind of it's a fairy, but there's something that's going to be the light bearer. Okay, light bearer. Communication. Follow follow the communication from the divine. Follow the communication from um, birds. Also, pay attention to birds specifically. It, um, they're just saying it. Sometimes, if you if you look around and all you see is darkness. Sometimes you're the one who's the light. The light. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Yeah. And this is the um, time flies in reverse. So we have a little bit of time. But not much. I don't feel. And then we have the enchanted. Wait. It says the enchanted emporium in reverse. We, okay. We have a little bit of time. But our magic is running out. Our mana is running low. Okay, anything else for the collective, please? Victory. Don't look for victory. Look for truth. Because, look, the lightning is hitting the sword. Don't look for victory. This is also the masculine principle, the feminine principle. Not that one is more than the other. Okay? But we need to slow down these conflicts, right? Okay? But there's going to be... Um, don't look for victory. Look for truth. Anything else? Oh, that's too many. I can't do all those. That's too many. Oh, okay. Anything else, please? Anything else? Yeah. The songbird, right? Yeah, songbird in reverse. Released out of the cage. You see? She's in a cage. A cage is still a cage, even if it's gilded, right? So this is, we need to find a new song, the right sound, the right song to sing to free us. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what I was told. All right, one last card, and then we'll pull some oracle cards. Anything else? Shooting star again. Uh, where is it? Again, look. Pay attention to this. There's something about that in the sky. A super moon as well, maybe even like a lunar eclipse, but there's something about, there's something, a comet, an asteroid possibly passing. Okay, there's something about that. All right, show me this, what is this comet thing, or this star? Okay, the call. Oh, um, see, I told you. Well, it's, heralding a message it's the call to action or the call to lift up sort of truth it's the call it's the messenger anything else yeah then the dragon here in reverse it's the call world snake it's the call from the world snake or call from Releasing of this dragon. I don't know. But it's the call for sure. It's a messenger. The castle. Kingdom. Again, fire and water. Again, there's something about that. All right, I'm going to move on from that because clearly I need to stop digging for that because maybe they don't want it all to come out just yet. Maybe I just need to, like, chill with that for a minute. Sorry. All right. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? I'm going to use these. They don't want to use them. Okay. What messages do you have for the collective, please? Any guidance that you would like to get for the collective? Any guidance that you would like to give to the collective? Okay. 
white golden dragon from Lyra. It says, connects you to the highest Christ light. Develop, de develop your casual chakra. Bathe in ninth dimensional Christ light. Okay. Anything else? Fire and water dragon. See? Fire and water dragon enables your life to flow with loving force. Prepare for change and to move forward quickly. Expect the unexpected and have fun. Anything else for the collective? Lilac Fire Dragon. It says, transmute through the power of divine love. Open up to transcendent, transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. Anything else? Okay. It says, orange... Orange gold dragon from Arcturus says opens you to acknowledge to knowledge for the new golden age. Carry the energy of the future. Be a guiding light. What did I? S yeah. Sometimes you are the light. Or is it light bearer? Okay. Well, you can look back. Kuan Yin's pink dragon says brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. Let me read that again. Kuan Yin's Pink Dragons for the Collective um, brings firm love that resets your karmic balance. See all your see all your cords dissolved by transcendent love. Enjoy your freedom. Look for the divine around you. And last one it says Blue Dragon from the Pleiades prepares you to accept source healing. Accept a heart activation. Give and receive heart healing. Yeah, that's deep. I gotta sit with that for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this, got something from it. Um, take a rest and leave the rest. Um, good luck to everyone. I hope everyone stays safe and, um, really takes this time to, um, reflect if they want to. Okay. So as always, please take care of yourself till next time.